everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing an updated hospital bag. So I finished packing my hospital bag for both me and the baby and kind of like a snack bag for like me and Neil and I just thought I'd share that with you today. So if you would like to see what is in my hospital bag then please keep on watching. So if you've been watching my channel for quite a while now, you'll have seen a few months back I received a parcel from a brand called Mother Bee. Now they're on Instagram and they do pre-packed hospital bags. So here's the suitcase I was actually gifted by them. So that's this. And it's actually quite heavy because it's very full now. Um, so I am actually using this today for the baby and I've also added a few little extra bits in there as well. So yeah, I'll leave that link down below for you. So I'm going to run through it quickly because I don't want to like blab on forever. Um, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have hospital bags that are very similar. Now my plan is when I go to the hospital I am going to try and breastfeed so I'm not actually packing bottles or formula milk or anything. Plus my midwife has actually said to me that I don't need to pack my own milk, don't need to pack bottles, uh, I don't need to pack anything like that. So uh, thankfully my hospital apparently provides quite a lot of the stuff so yeah I'm really lucky in that way. So if you have any questions about anything that I mention in today's video um, just leave it down below in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you as quick as I can. So one of the first things that I have in Oscar's hospital bag is this. Now this is a little personalised dummy clip. Now I actually purchased this from, what's it called, The Little Knot. So I follow this girl on Instagram and she basically does like a little side business thing. So I'll try and leave a link down to her website down below or her Instagram so you can go and check that out. But yeah, it's a little personalised dummy clip so it says Oscar and we got to choose the colours so I decided to put this in there. I've also packed in some little dummies. Now these are the MAM Not Two Months Silicon Start Dummies. Now apparently they're really good for newborns, so these are just like some starter dummies, that's all, just to comfort him. So I also have here a selection of hats and bibs. Now I'm not gonna run through everything what I'm taking in my hospital bag like exactly, because you'll see this in like another video afterwards. You might even see what I take in a hospital vlog if that's something you maybe want to see. Um, but yeah, so I've basically packed in some little hats just for like if we have to stay in overnight to keep him nice and warm. I mean, he is due in August, so I'm probably packing these for absolutely no reason, but still. And then I have quite, quite a few bibs here. Some of the bibs go with outfits and some of them are just plain white or like, like this, like little moons and stars on. Um, I just thought I'd pack quite a few of those because you can never have enough bibs. I also have these, now you'll have seen me mention these in my videos before if you've watched them, but these are just a pack of three scratch mitts. So these are just Primark basics, they're literally a pound for a pack of three and I thought these would go with anything and obviously I don't want him to be scratching his face so I thought yeah I'd just pack a few of these. Then this pile here, this looks like a lot but it's actually not that much. I think I've got like three vests in 0 to 3, three vests in newborn, three baby grows in 0 to 3, and then three baby grows in newborn. And then I've also got like a little blanket as well in here um, for like when we bring him home in his car seat. But yeah, so this looks actually like a real lot of clothes, but it's just because of how I folded them, I think. Now, also, another thing I got gifted from Mother B obviously it's branded, is this little like canvas bag. This is still in there because I'm gonna use this for like the dirty clothes and stuff for like both me and the baby. Just so when I bring it home, the clothes are separate and I can chuck this straight in the wash. And I can also chuck this canvas bag in the wash as well. So I thought that's really handy. So yeah, just make sure you've got a little wash bag. Oh, I've got a little mini pack of Pampers nappies. Now these are in the newborn size, number one, I think. Um, I got these gifted, so I just thought I may as well take them with me anyway. So yeah, I've got some nappies. I've got some nappy bags. I also have some 100% biodegradable Mum and You baby wipes. Now, these are suitable for newborns, and I got these gifted. So apparently these are just as good as cotton wool and water, so I thought I may as well just take these rather than buying anything else. And uh, yes, yeah, so I've got some baby wipes. I also have some Bepanthan. Anyone who knows about babies, 
everyone has bupanthin at hand or sudocrem but yeah I've got bupanthin and it's basically just for like nappy rash just they're a little bit sore down there when you're changing them just popping some of this on and yeah so this little mini it'd be perfect to take in my hospital bag just in case I need it so then here I've just got a muslin cloth a little towel and flannel for him just so obviously if we do have to bath him while we're in the hospital I have something ready and the little muslin squares are basically just for if I am breastfeeding and I do manage to do it and I just want to, I don't know, be a little bit more covered up I thought I could just either one, keep him cool with this or two, um, just drape it over me while I'm feeding just so like I'm not fully on show if that makes sense so some of the most important things, moving on to things for me now is these, so these are giant maternity pads obviously you're gonna need these these are not glamorous i cannot dress these up in any way but yeah so i've just got loads of maternity pads just shoved into my case and then as well as maternity pads i've just got these little breast pads as well now i have bought some reusable ones but these ones are actually ones that i got gifted so i thought for the time being and in my hospital bag until my other ones arrive i'm just going to be using these ones i was also gifted these flip flops in the mother bee bag i'm taking these just for when i'm in the hospital just because one it's going to be august it's going to be hot and two when i'm in the shower and stuff i'll be able to just keep these on my feet because hospitals aren't sometimes the cleanest of places um, so yeah I'm going to be keeping these on my feet I think while I'm there not the most glamorous but um, yeah it's flip flops comfort over style then I also have this little toiletry bag here a lot of the things in here were gifted from Mother B but um, yeah so I'm just going to go into that now so just to quickly run through I've got a flannel for myself um, some simple body wash because you want things to be pH friendly and you don't want any like harsh chemicals or perfumes especially if you've got like open wounds and stuff I've also got this mini Vagisil you'll have seen this in one of my hauls um, I basically got this gifted from a brand called Cherries um, so yeah this was just something I put into a haul on my Cherries order and I thought this was great for my hospital bag so I've got that I have a mini toothpaste toothbrush a bamboo hairbrush and these little hair ties I also have a face wash I have moisturizer Vaseline for like my lips and stuff I got a Dove roll-on deodorant and then I also have a mini shampoo and conditioner which I think is perfect so yeah I've just got all that just chucked in there now I've also just got some little paracetamols so I've basically just put them in so I have this so this is a Bennett's nipple cream obviously like I said I am planning on breastfeeding so yeah I've got this little tube of nipple cream to kind of just stop them from cracking and going all dry and horrible another thing that I have is this now if you have seen my pregnancy essentials video I don't actually know whether that's going up before this video itself so if i haven't mentioned it already i'll mention it now this is just a cooling mist from home bargains it's literally about 89p something like that it's under a quid but this is perfect now i know a lot of mums have been swearing by the evian water spray to cool you down but um, this works just as good and I've swore by this in my pregnancy so yeah get yourself some of this it's from home bargains so that is everything in the suitcase now I also have this bag which is just a hold all looks like I'm taking a lot but honestly well to be honest I probably am packing like way too much but I'd rather have a lot than nothing at all so yeah in this little hold all it's mainly stuff for myself so obviously in here are my green notes, you want to make sure you've got those with you for definite because obviously all your doctor's information and like all the stuff the midwife's been writing down is in here so you must remember this. If you forget everything else just please remember these. So yeah you want your green notes. So for coming home in I've just packed a long black midi dress. Black because obviously if I'm going to be bleeding and stuff I don't want to run the risk of leaking or anything and I want to be comfortable so I've just got this stretchy nice black midi dress to come home in. I have also packed a bikini top because I am planning on having a water birth. I have these three things packed here so I've actually got a nighty, 
another nighty and then some over the bump pyjamas so I've just packed three just in case well any gets ruined really and I don't know how long I'm going to be in there for so my midwife just recommended to take a few of everything so hence why I've got three of these as well as like three of different sizes for the baby so yeah they're my nighties and pyjamas I also have two multi packs of just black knickers these are like what I'd call like period pants they're just the plain like cotton briefs like nothing fancy at all i just thought i'd pick these up because well you're just going to want knickers to be comfortable in so yeah i've got those so i also have two sports bras packed these are just what i've been wearing throughout my whole pregnancy They're just easy enough to slip down if i am breastfeeding so yeah i've got those then two other things i do actually have in here is just a spray deodorant and some hand sanitizer so that is the main bulk of both bags done now it was also recommended that i take in some snacks because not all hospitals provide food and obviously in labor you can get quite hungry and need to keep your energy levels up so i I do have a snack bag so I have basically packed loads of sugary things but that's what I was recommended by some mums in a pregnancy group that I'm in so I packed some squashes I have some fruit pastels I also have these um, dextro energy vitamin things uh, basically they're just like little tablet things you take and they're just full of energy so I just thought if I'm not managing to actually eat anything um, I can at least have one of these and hopefully it might help me a little bit I've got these now these are just the Cadbury's brunch bar with raisins I love raisins and I also love Cadbury's it's kind of like a cereal bar so I thought these would be good just to keep my energy levels up I also packed a few cereal bars these are just from the Aldi just strawberry ones and then I grabbed two of these from Home Bargains. These are just the Lucasoid Sport Energy Drinks. I've been recommended these by literally everybody to take with me. Because it's a nice tonic sports drink, I just thought this will really help keep me hydrated and just keep my, I don't know, my glucose and energy levels up while I'm in such like a strenuous period of my life let's just say so that is everything i'm taking with me to the hospital um give or take obviously i'll have my phone charger my phone stuff like that but i'm filming on my phone and my phone charger is actually plugged into it so so this is everything i'm taking to the hospital and hopefully it will have just given you a bit of inspiration if you're trying to pack your own i am not saying this is the perfect bag because i have never packed a hospital bag before i'm just trying to go off what other people have recommended me and do the best that I can so I probably won't even end up using half of this but if you have enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would really appreciate that and uh, yeah until next time I will see you soon so see you later